If you are a close observer, you have already noticed that the Edison disc phonograph requires no change of needles. The reproducer point is a genuine diamond, carefully selected, polished, and fitted. It is never changed. In 1878, Mr. Edison invented and patented the first disc phonograph ever made. But this instrument before you is the first disc phonograph he has ever permitted to be offered to the public in his name. It represents 34 years of personal investigation and experimentation by Mr. Edison and probably marks the limit of human achievement in recording and reproducing sound. In designing the reproducer for this instrument, Mr. Edison constructed and tested over 2,000 different models. The material used in the record was selected with equal care. It is an entirely new material, possessing properties which have a very great part in the excellence of the reproduction. The motor is many times stronger and more costly than any other motor, with the result that the beautiful tone qualities of the instrument are perfectly sustained at all times. Mr. Edison has conducted a series of exhaustive acoustical experiments which have resulted in new methods of sound recording entirely unknown to other manufacturers and very much superior to their methods. As you listen to the reproduction of music by this instrument, you will notice that all of the overtones or tone colors are recorded and faithfully reproduced. Other sound reproducing instruments are not capable of this with the result that their reproduction consists of the fundamental tone and a more or less distorted and intermittent reproduction of merely one or two of the overtones. Other records, compared with Edison records, are like an outline drawing without color, shading, or detail, compared to a finished painting with all the planes, tones, colors, and perspectives. For the first time, there is a sound reproducing instrument which truly reproduces music and does not distort it. The musical volume of this instrument is very much greater than that of any other. The so-called volume of other talking machines is a series of loud, false vibrations produced by improper methods of recording and reproducing. Inasmuch as this instrument is capable of a real interpretation of music, Mr. Edison intends to make it the means of offering all of the world's finest music to the American people. From month to month, he will present purposeful programs of music, including the works of the great composers, a revival of English and ballad opera and historic lyrics, a review of the music of the nation, gems of grand opera, the fine old songs, so aptly called heart songs, the best musical numbers from modern light opera successes, and all of the contemporary popular music. The artists who make records for the Edison Disc Phonograph are chosen with the greatest care. They are judged by the standards that prevail in the musical centers of Europe and include the finest voices in the world. In selecting artists, we disregard the bombastic claims of hired press agents the illusion of stage settings and draperies, or the charm of stage presence. We select only those singers whose art is so great that the full measure of their power is felt without seeing them. Artists whose voices abound with a wealth of color, feeling, and expression. Realizing that the Edison Disc Phonograph is an instrument that will appeal to the most highly cultured people, we offer in the design of our instrument your types of the following schools of furniture, Adam, Jacobean, Sheraton, Louis XV, and Louis XVI, in addition to a well-considered type of modern Renaissance, suited to a mixed scheme of furnishings. Now, if you will permit this instrument to play a record selected by you, it will more than prove all of the statements I have made. <laughs> 